I will show you how to install mods on your Linux device. So first of all you want to install and launch the game once. The first time it might take a while because uh, it's downloading all of the shaders but this is going to create some important folders that we are going to use later. Again if you're on Linux you can usually set the uh, compatibility layer so if Proton Experimental doesn't work for you choose Hotfix and so on. Okay, everything should be initialized now and we can quit the game. So uh, when you have launched the game once, now we're going to install some prerequisites. We are going to install Wine for Baldur's Gate 3 Mod Manager by Laughing Leader. I do not recommend you use the in-game mod manager. So first of all, let's install Wine. I'm going to use the console. I will put all of the commands in the description or comments or wherever I'm going to post it. So I have an Arch-based distro, but this also works on any other Linux distribution. Just look up what your package manager is. So first of all, you're going to have to make sure that your system is up to date. So you can check that it is successfully installed by typing wine version and you should see an output. So now we're going to create a wine prefix that we are going to use to run Baldur's Gate 3 mod manager. So let's just create one. Click install. And now we're going to configure it. So Windows version 10, that's all right. And that is already all that we need. So now we're going to download .NET. So visit the official Microsoft website. We need .NET 8.0 and we want the Windows version, not the Linux version, the Windows version. So that would be Okay, and this should be in your download folder now. You can either navigate to your download folder from your console here or open a console directly in your folder. And now you want to execute this executable with your wine prefix that you have just created.
And then just install it as you install any Windows application. And it's now installed in this wine prefix. So with this wine prefix, we can now execute tools that require .NET 8. So now we can actually download the mod manager. We don't need that anymore. And always download the mod manager from the official Laughing Leader GitHub. There is a scam website. Do not click on that. Do not click on this link or this link. Only download it from the GitHub. So you want to check the releases. And if you are on patch 8, you want the latest release version. And click this zip file. You can extract it and you can put that anywhere you like. So I'm going to just put it into my documents. Okay. And this file here is the one we want to execute. So again, Okay, so at launch we can close that and you can see the mod manager and now you have to set your paths and this is very important and most people actually um, make the mistakes here. So if anything doesn't work, you probably have a typo somewhere here. You can also see there's this black box. Um, the mod manager does not work perfectly on Linux, so there might be graphical glitches or crashes, but that's fine. Just start it again if it crashes. So we want to enter the game data path and the game executable path and the app data override. This one is extremely important. I will also post the paths for you so you don't have to type it. If you're on a Steam Deck, your username is usually deck. And as you can see, I'm using C. Okay, that is all. Now we can check if we have entered it correctly by clicking the shortcut link. And now we check if this mods folder is correct. So we can see Laren Studios, Baldur's Gate 3, mods. So that looks correct. Okay. Now I'm going to install one mod. I'm going to choose a hair mod that we can easily see. And choose the manual download, not the mod manager download. Okay, we're done with that. Now we can close all of that. Do not close this console. That's where your mod manager is actually running. You do not have to unzip this file. You can just drag it in here. And if it's not in active mode, sometimes it shows up here. Just drag it over. Oh, you see a crash. So we just restart it. So sometimes it shows up in inactive, so just drag it over to active. And then it's very important that you export. Seems like it doesn't want to export right now. So let me just restart it again. You see it's a bit fiddly, but um, it's definitely the best mod manager for Baldur's Gate. Okay, it doesn't want to export the mods, so we can also just manually add it to our mod folder. So you just have to navigate to the Larian mods folder, and I recommend you put it in your start or bookmarks or whatever it is called in your file browser. So you might have to um, enable hidden files if you want to navigate there. 
by um, your file manager, else you can just type it into your console. I recommend starring this or putting it in your bookmarks, whatever it's called in your file manager. We just put the mod here manually. Okay, there it is. So activate it, export. Okay, and now it created a mod settings file. So that is in player profiles, public, and mod settings.lsx. Seems like my uh, cloud downloaded other mod settings. So, and here you can see the mod we just installed. And go self access a game, you always need that. If you don't see that, your mod manager is outdated. Okay, and now we start the game. You don't have to launch from the mod manager, you can just launch from Steam or the EXE, whatever you want. So and these hairs are available for all races and all body types, so we can check with this default elf here. And there they are. So we have successfully installed .pack mods. Now we'll show you how to install script extender. Now I do not recommend you install script extender from Nexus because that is not the official upload. But also go to GitHub. Script Extender Launcher. And this is from uh, April 2024, but it updates itself. So this will be up to date. So just unzip it. And now we're going to navigate to the Baldur's Gate bin folder. And I also recommend you bookmark that. Okay, just go into the bin file and then drag the dwrite file here. Okay, and now we have to go to our Steam again, click properties, and now we're going to add some launch options here. And I'm also going to skip the launcher. Okay, so Let's also download a mod that requires script extender because I want to show you something. So here you can see this uh, arrow symbol. It, it's black right now, but it would say that script extender is not installed. On Linux, Baldur's Gate Mod Manager cannot find your script extender install. So just ignore that. I'm going to show you how to actually tell if script extender is installed. So now we just launch the game. And here you can see script extender version 23 loaded. And that is how you can tell that script extender is actually installed on Linux. Okay.
that was it. You should be able to install mods now. Everything else is the same for you as for Windows users. And in the next part, I'm going to show you how to actually create mods on Linux.